Hello, this is an additional YouTube video for the uh, Flink Kinesis Data Analytics Repository. In some of the prior videos, we covered um, you know, sending data to Kinesis and uh, running through some sample Flink notebooks. In this video, I want to cover deploying a Kinesis Data Analytics Flink notebook as a long-running KDA application. So I'm logged into the AWS console, and we can begin by going to Kinesis. And data analytics. Finally, studio. So from the earlier videos, I already have a studio environment up and running. If you need to learn how to create a studio environment and all those other pieces, I'd recommend referencing some of the earlier parts. We have a whole video on creating it. And I'd also recommend that you do the interactive notebooks or watch this video before um, trying what we're trying here, which is actually deploying the application. So I already have this created. Let's open it in Zeppelin. Again, in the in the previous video and um, just in general, I've already completed this notebook here. Uh, this is the interactive notebook in the Git repository. So specifically under interactive uh, Flink version one, I've already completed this notebook here. So that's this notebook. I already did this. So what I've now done is I also have in the Git repository a separate folder that says uh, deployable and then version 1.13 here. And I've uploaded that notebook here. It's a very simple notebook. Um, essentially, all it has is setting the checkpointing. And then what it is is it's a single SQL command that's going to select data from a table that's based on a Kinesis data analytics stream and send it into S3. These tables were previously defined in that interactive notebook. Um, if you take a look here, right, this is the, the, the table that we're selecting from. It's based on a Kinesis stream. And then we have uh, down below uh, another table that's based on a file system or S3 connector. So what we can expect is that when we deploy this notebook, um, we're going to have a KDA application that's long running that's going to be constantly watching our Kinesis stream and sending that data to S3. So with that said, this notebook's ready to go. And if I come up here in this top corner, what you'll see is for KDA, there's uh, a view and then there's a build. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to build this application. And you can see it's telling us the location in S3 that it's going to go. So let's do this. Build and export. You can adjust the application name if you want. I'm just going to leave this as the default. Great. And the build's going to get started. The build will take several minutes, uh, depending on the size and complexity of your application. And what we can do is we can open up S3. And we have, this is the S3 bucket. So what we should see is when the build finishes, uh, we should get a folder in here with the actual built code. One thing I do want to point out is if you're looking at your studio environment and you click this drop down and the build button is grayed out, um, there is a reason for that. The reason is when you deploy your KDA studio environment, there's an extra option you have to select that points this notebook environment to that S3 bucket that we were just looking at. So if you're doing this step and the build button is grayed out, I would recommend you go back and watch the uh, environment creation video, and I'll cover in there how to set this up.
but in the interim, we can just wait for this to finish building. Awesome. So our build has finished. So the build successfully built and exported to S3. You can see in S3, there's now a folder. And there's a zip file here. We'll take a look at that in a minute. So now that the build's finished, let's deploy. We're going to leave these all, um, all of these default. I'll, I'll choose a service role that I know already. Um, in my case, if we look at the service role, what I've done is I've given it administrative permissions. Of course, in production, you'll want to scope those down. And we'll leave these the default. So let's create a streaming application. Great, and this is now ready. Uh, one thing I want to point out is if we come back to the Kinesis uh, home screen, and if we go to analytics applications, notice that everything we've been doing was in the studio environment. And now under streaming applications, this application is available here. Uh, this is the application we just deployed from the notebook. Right, so it's a good example there of going from the notebook and, and moving it here. And once it's here, this is where we would have more of like our long running application since we don't, you know, want to leave a notebook up and running for, for days or weeks as an example. Um, so let's click run here. We're going to run without a snapshot. Great, and this will take a few minutes to start. Um, when this is starting, what we can do is we can download this zip file just to show you what's here. It'll take a few minutes to download. Great, so the download finished. Unzip this. Here we go. This is the unzip folder. And like you can see, this is, um, you know, in case you're interested, this is the actual code here that's been generated for you or built for you. And this is what the uh, Kinesis Data Analytics application is going to be using. So, you know, if you're interested in how this how this works behind the scenes or how, what a built application looks like, it's it's worth exploring these Python files a bit. But uh, with that said, let's take a look here. So it says that our application is now running. This is the application we deployed from the notebook. If we come here, you can see this is running. So let's let's test that this is actually running. Um, what we can do is we can send some some sample data to our uh, Kinesis data stream, and we should see that that data appears in S3 if this is working correctly. And where we would expect that data is in a a separate bucket here, and we should see a folder pop up. So what I've done is I have from uh, earlier videos, I have a Python script that sends sample data to Kinesis data streams. Um, if you need help setting this up, again, I would, I'd recommend you reference. There's some earlier videos around sending data from a Python script or um, and more recently added how to send data from a KDA notebook as well. But the main point is you want to send data to your Kinesis data stream. 
Um, this way that application that we deployed has the opportunity to take that data and send it to S3. And it might take a minute or two for, I'll let this run in the background, it might take a minute or two for a folder to show up here. Um, you know, we did set our checkpointing to a minute, but let's see. Awesome, so we can see the folder appeared here. You can see we have this and the data is being produced. So there you go. Um, that's the process of, of deploying a Kinesis data analytics notebook uh, into a proper streaming application that you can, you can leave running. Uh, what I'll do is I'll actually uh, stop mine. This way I don't incur additional billing. Thanks so much.